Hey guys, I'll be really quick. Uh, I thought this was a great question asked. I was thrown off at first. It's phenylacetone. Look, this is not really uh, new methamphetamines. The old meth in 2006, the U.S. banned that uh, ephedrine pseudofed-based methamphetamines, and it's really a plant-based methamphetamine production. And so did Mexico in 2008. We moved over to this stuff around 2010 for the most part, uh, phenylacetone, uh, and uh, it was a method used by old biker gangs in the early 80s with limited production now they really industrialized synthetic methamphetamine mass production this was uh, this had uh, a lot of consequences which I'll get to I think in a YouTube video but when we look at it we want to say well there's been an increase in schizophrenia for the most part, we don't know what's causing the increased psychosis, schizophrenia. We can say this. Is it the uh, uh, P2P? Uh, it doesn't seem to be when we look at the trend of the way increased mental health issues came. Is it the production or the method? It also doesn't seem to be as it's changed so many times. What has changed? Production has mass uh, scaled up. Uh, prices have dropped and uh, use appears to be, have gone way up and people are using the daily user roughly three to eight hundred milligrams of the equivalent of 20 milligrams of Adderall uh, a day well that's gonna increase psychosis and schizophrenia it seems to be that uh, that is the cause and we are in uh, uh, methamphetamine epidemic which uh, I've been saying for a long time people are just using a lot more of this stuff and it's a lot more potent believe it or not okay talk to you guys soon today at noon uh, we have uh, with power home on my YouTube dr. B addiction recovery live uh, discussing the holidays and relapse and I think I'm going to do a video on this to give you some more answers see you later peace